to Will and we'd be happy to tell you about what you need to do to join us. Join us. <laughs> Become a friend of WILL. So we appreciate your many, many hours of help here at the station. And we, of course, appreciate the help of all the volunteers here tonight, friends of WILL, who feel strongly committed to WILL to such an extent that they're willing to spend a Friday night in here to take your telephone calls. So we encourage you to make that call right now, 217-244-9455. The toll-free number on your screen, as you can see, is 866-779-9455. We encourage you to make that call. Jeannie Cox of Clinton, thank you. Philip Sellers, uh, a fan of, uh, of uh, Roy Orbison, the big O, uh, calling in from Champaign. Colleen Hildreth Myers of Decatur. Colleen, thank you for your call. David and Kathleen Smith of White Heath. Vera Vogel of Urbana. Vera, it's always good to hear from you. Kelly Johnson of Roanoke, just a few of the people who have called in tonight. The phones are ringing in large part because People are enjoying this concert tonight in black and white, and they're also enjoying the fact that uh, they're becoming friends of an effort here uh, that we consider to be very, uh, very important to viewers in central Illinois, public television in the form of WILL. And I can guarantee you that there are very few stops on your uh, dial tonight in which you can hear a concert, have a front row seat in a concert involving Roy Orbison and reliving many of the great moments in our in our youths, and I can't believe, Mark, uh, it, when uh, Roy Orbison died back in 1988, I thought it was a pretty ripe old age, only to realize that he was 52. Incredible. He passed, yes. <laughs> Incredible. Well, this concert was recorded in 1988, so it would have been just shortly before his death. It was recorded at the Coconut Grove at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles. And who would have known at that, that evening just what a, a watershed event this concert would be, and the fact that this this little glimpse into Roy Orbison just at the point where he was beginning to have a resurgence of popularity in the United States and worldwide, that this would be perhaps the, the world's last look at Roy Orbison. Well, we're glad it was recorded. We're very happy that his widow, Barbara, has made it available for public television to broadcast, and we're so happy to be able to share it with you this evening. And we're hoping, if you're not a, yet a member of WILL, that this is the program that will push you over the edge from being a passive observer to an active participant in your public television station. There is another program, another Roy or Orbison program that is out there called Anthology. And, and if we get enough response this evening, we're going to look into whether that program is one that you would like to, to, to see also. I think we may have broadcasted a couple years ago. I'm not even sure about that. And even more interestingly, there is a new documentary on the life of Roy Orbison that has been recorded. We're not sure whether it's available for public television or not, but if, if, with your show of support this evening, if we get a strong enough response, we definitely are going to look into it. Talk to David Teal and see if it's on his radar. When it becomes available, we will make it available to you. Now, there is one quote here. It's going to take a second here, but I just I love this story because the other musicians love Roy Orbison so much. And uh, Bob Dylan was quoted. Uh, who later played with Roy Orbison in The Traveling Wilburys. He said that Roy Orbison transcended all genres. With Roy, you didn't know if you were listening to mariachi or opera. He kept you on your toes. He sang his compositions in three or four octaves that made you want to drive your car over a cliff. He sang like a professional criminal. His voice could jar a corpse, always leave you muttering to yourself something like, man, I don't believe it. His songs had songs within songs. Orbison was deadly serious, no polywog, and no fledgling juvenile. There wasn't anything else on the radio like him. And th those are such true words. Yeah, they really are. That's, that's a gr I'm glad you read that. When you were listening to WLS Did I feel like driving over a cliff? <laughs> <laughs> There were times what, when I thought... What year would have been the first year you heard him on the radio? Can you remember? Well, it would have been 1960. 1960? 1960, WLS uh, radio in Chicago, and I remember it like it was yesterday, and it's almost 50 years ago, Mark. Incredible. But only the Lonely in 1960. I remember it very well. I want to mention again that uh, we have at the $150 level two CDs uh, that contain many of Roy Orbison's great hits, uh, one of the CDs mirrors the songs you're seeing tonight, but also at the $150 level, a DVD copy of tonight's program. So we're encouraging you to not only become a friend of WILL by making a contribution at that $150 level or above, but uh, to, to call and become officially a friend of this station. want to mention, if you like oldies, The Killer is coming up next Friday. 
a week from tonight at 8 o'clock, a special on Jerry Lee Lewis and his great music. Let's watch. Great Performances presents rock and roll legend Jerry Lee Lewis. And look who's playing with him. Rock with Jerry Lee Lewis. Only on Great Performances. Tune in Friday at 8. Okay, I guess both. All right, we the killer never looked better. <laughs> <laughs> what a lineup of musical stars next week. That is a new program that we are just so thrilled to be able to offer Absolutely. to you. Absolutely, it's fun. Uh, these musical icons, you know, where oh, else but on public it. television are you going to see these great, great performances preserved and, and shared with, uh, with future generations? Nowhere, and I can't tell you how many people will say, you know, we, we're watching the Pledge Drive, we're enjoying those music programs yep. so much. People relate to this of all ages, depending on, on the eras in which they grew up or, or, or dated, courted, uh, were married and raised families. People can relate to music in ways that they can't relate to anything else. And obviously tonight, People are relating to Roy Orbison and the great music he provided in the 1950s, the 60s, somewhat in the 70s with a resurgence in the late 80s. Want to mention again at the $100 level, a CD, uh, Roy Orbison's Greatest Hits. Uh, there are about 10 cuts on this, uh, I think there's at the one with eight to, eight to 10 cuts on it, along with a DVD copy of tonight's program. That's at the $100 level. And Mark, at the $150 level, we have the two CD set, uh, which also includes the DVD. And people are responding to these, uh, these added incentives because it's great to listen to Roy Orbison uh, all times of the day or night. Absolutely. And these are, uh, these are different recordings, too. This is uh, The Greatest Hits has some different performances than the ones on the Black and White Nights. Yes. You're really going to want to take all of them. I mean, there's no two ways about it. <laughs> Roy Orbison, you're never going to get tired of it. It's not one of those CDs that you put away and it collects dust. Whenever you're in doubt of what to put on and play, Roy Orbison is always a great choice. I don't know anybody who doesn't like Roy Orbison. I don't care how old or how young. He transcends musical genres. He transcends ages. It, he is, really is a universal gem, and we are happy to share him with you tonight. Now, you may have gotten a busy signal a couple of minutes ago. If you did, now is your chance because we got a couple of operators who are now available and ready to take your pledge at 217-244-9455. The time is running out. We're coming up on the final segment of Roy Orbison Black and White Night, and you're going to want to make sure that you support this program and you take advantage and get a copy of tonight's performance on your own copy of a DVD. This is a classic performance recorded in 1988, The Coconut Grove, a performance that unfortunately will never happen again. The collection of musical talent on that stage is absolutely unsurpassed, and they are all worshiping Roy Orbison and his incredible, not only his incredible voice, but also his incredible songwriting ability. Almost all of these songs were he recorded by Roy Orbison. Absolutely talented. We're thrilled to share it with you. We're waiting to hear from you right now. 217-244-9455. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Black and White Night 